Hello, my most amazing kindergarten artist. Today is printmaking day, and these fifth graders are so excited to help us out with our kindergarten printmaking. So we actually have a couple of your examples here on your piece of foam. Now this one has already been traced over and has the paper off, but mine over here that Riley's using has my name on the back, and that paper is still on the front. What you need to do is trace over your lines once on top of the styrofoam. If you can peek under and see them underneath, you're good to take that off. This piece we can either throw away in the trash or you can keep it if you want to, but we won't need that anymore once you can see all your lines there. Now what they're gonna do is take their pen, <clears throat> take your pen, and you're gonna trace over all of those lines again. You wanna make sure you can feel the bumps. If you can't feel the indents on your print, it will not come out when you go to print it. So you wanna make sure you can feel all of those lines that you draw. If you can't feel them, it's not deep enough and it won't show up in the print. I'll fast forward this part. <laughs> yeah, mine are already gone over. <laughs> All right, you actually have to go over those for the, that to work. Um, uh, Miss Quixel, what do I do? All right, so if you finish tracing over your lines, Riley's going to feel them and see if he can feel all of them. Do you feel them? Yes, I do. Okay, if you can't feel them, that means that you want to make sure you press hard enough with that pen. Let's see. Hector, can you feel all of them? Even the mouth and the eyes on that one? You sure? Yep. I might tell you to go over them again if you can't. All right, but once you're done, you're going to stand up. You're gonna put your pen back in the bin with the lid on it. Please put the cap on the pen. We don't want any pen accidents to happen. And you're gonna take your styrofoam. That's called your printing plate. What's it called, guys? Your, your printing, printing plate. plate. All right, you're gonna take your printing plate over to the printing station. At the printing station, you're going to have markers. You're going to have sponges and a dog bowl of water, and this tool. What is this called? I think it's called a brayer. It is called a brayer, but it looks like a what? A roller. It looks like a roller, but in printmaking terms, we call it a what? Brayer. A brayer. All right, boys and girls, <clears throat> repeat after me. <clears throat> I am using... I am using... A brayer. A brayer. To make a print today. To make a print today. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to color in your printing plate. You can use whatever colors you want with the markers that are on the table. If there's a color that's not there that you're looking for, you can go down around the table to any of the other colors, but you want to color everything in. You also want to be careful of your hand. Make sure your hand does not drag across your foam because you'll notice that the foam is different than paper. Paper absorbs the marker, but foam, it's going to sit right on top. So that means that if you run your fingers across it or you put your hand on it when you're leaning down it's going to get all over your hand and it's going to come off your foam so be careful turn it as you're working color everything in. we don't want to see any of the styrofoam left everything's got to be colored all right i'm gonna fast forward this part don't worry you guys can actually take your time if you want to but mm -hmm. however you want to color it it's funny that this like face is here <laughs> It's just like, what are you guys doing without me? Because <laughs> it looks like that one. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> All right, so now that we're all done coloring, they colored everything in on that printing plate, being careful of your fingers, everything's colored on there, so now they're ready to print. Now, to print, you're gonna need a piece of paper. So they're gonna come over here, they're gonna get one piece of paper, just one, grab one and bring it back. You're gonna write your name on the back of it. So once you have a piece of paper, write your name. This is actually something you could probably do when you first come over here so you don't have to go back and forth. That would have been smart, but I didn't think about it. This is the first time we're trying this. So write your name on the back, put your class code. For you guys, that will be either KD um, or KS for this week in printmaking or KM, depending on what teacher you are in in kindergarten. Flip it over, you're gonna flip your page over, and now we need to get the paper a little bit wet. What you're going to do is pick up your sponge, wait, 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 pick it up, and you gotta give it a really good squeeze. Go ahead and squeeze that water out. You gotta squeeze all the water out, and then you gotta make your paper shiny. Go ahead and rub that water and that sponge on your paper, all over the paper, yep. Just enough to make it shiny, not too much. Just enough. If you get too much water, the paper's gonna start ripping and it's not gonna come out. Once you're done, put the sponge back. And then you're gonna take the paper, just the paper, not the, no, no, no. The paper is gonna go on top of your printing plate. So you flip your paper and you stick it down. So go ahead and stick it down with your hand. And then you use your brayer or that roller 
to roll it on there. Now make sure it stays in place. If it moves, it's gonna move your print. So try to keep one hand on the corner to keep that in place, and you can roll up and down and side to side. So once you go up and down a little bit, then you can switch directions and go one side to the other. So now you can go switch your braid, there you go. And once you start to see your heart coming through, then you know that it's starting to print onto that paper. Mm -hmm. All right, so can you see it coming through yet? A little bit. Be careful it doesn't wiggle. If it wiggles, let's see. You can always peek if you're not sure. Ah, don't run on my fingers. You can always peek underneath and it see how it's coming out. Okay, we know it's coming out, but you can probably keep rolling a little bit. Now this is called a test print, meaning you're testing to see how well it works. So you will be able to do this again, don't worry. If your first one doesn't come out so good, that's okay. Don't put it back after. We're not, you can only do it once and then you can do it again if this one doesn't work out so well. But don't try to reprint on the same paper. All right, you ready for it to come up? I'm ready. Are well, you ready? Okay, where's the reveal? Over here? All right, mm -hmm. ta-da, and we have a heart print. You can see most of those lines on there. Now, you can see that we probably could have colored in a little bit more purple there. It was a little bit light, and we probably could have gotten the paper a little bit more wet. But I don't think that'll be a problem for you guys because we need to remember to try to squeeze that water out. Some of it, some of you might actually squeeze a little too much and have fun with that. Now, that would mean that it wouldn't be as bright. So you wanna make sure you get all of that marker from the printing plate. Your printing plate should be close to white. When you're done printing, you're gonna take your print over to the drying rack because it will be wet. Sit it down on that drying rack, push it back. Let it sit down there and make sure it has your name on it. I'm gonna put both of those prints that they just did on there. Now that's gonna be your job to do. And your printing plate Right here, the styrofoam is going to go in your table folder. So you bring it back to your table with any other papers you have that you want to keep. Make sure it goes in that table folder so we have it for next time so you can print again. All right, we also want to make sure that the bins are nice and neat before we leave. And that if your hands are as messy as mine, there's going to be baby wipes in this bin that you can use to wipe your hands. Let's see. Baby wipes are in the bin somewhere. There they are. Make sure you wipe your hands and take one, wipe them off, or we can use the sink if it just won't come off. All right, have fun today, printmaker.